Hello, in this jQuery video, I am going to show you fade in. So you can fade in, you can fade out, you can toggle fade, and you can fade to a particular opacity as well. So as we did in the sort of high show toggle video, I will recommend checking that out because we are going to be, you know, using, you know, the, the knowledge that we acquired from there. So I'm going to simplify it a bit. So I'm just going to get rid of the input and on top of that i am just gonna have four buttons and these four buttons are going to be fade two they're going to be fade out it's going to be fade toggle and we are going to have oh, the first one should be fade in sorry Fade 2 will be the last one. Fade 2. And let me just change the text so it's more representative of what the button actually will do once it's programmed. So fade toggle. And the last one is fade 2. Fade 2. Okay, so if I save that, and in here, I'm going to remove it so there's only four of these and we're going to have fade in, fade out, fade toggle, fade and what I'll do is I'll get rid of these pieces of code. We'll be updating these and so on. But first of all, to fade something, you need to select it as usual. So in this case, I'm gonna keep it simple and use a div. But this selector can be as advanced or as simple as you need it to be. You just do dot fade in for, for this one. And if I do fade out as well, these complement each other really well. So if I do fade out, reload, and if I click fade in, no, nothing happens. If I click fade out, as you can see, it basically fades it out. And if we go to the console, as you can see, it's on a display now. If I click fade in, and you may have seen that, it's changing the opacity. And there's a toggle method as well. So if I copy that, paste it here, and change it to fade toggle reload click that as you see toggles between on and off depending on what its current state is and then the final one is fade two so you might actually want to fade you know all the way out all the way in you might want you know a certain percentage and you can do that first of all you need to specify a speed the speed is optional on all of the other sort of parameters i mean all the other methods but for this one you need to have a speed first just because you know the order of the parameters for fade to is speed opacity and callback so for you to get to opacity you need to provide a speed so if we just say a speed is slow so we can see it if i put a comma and now you specify the opacity this is going to be a number ranging between zero and one zero meaning you know it being invisible one meaning fully invisible so if i zero put 0 0.5 and if i save it i reload and also you know the speed parameter can be put into any one of these as well i've got a separate video covering you know speed so feel free to check that out but now if we go to what, fade two as you can see we can still see it it's very faint. Let's do, to do it to 0 0.25 now, so 25% opacity. If I click fade two, as you can see, it's even fainter. Maybe if we do it to 75%, obviously this number can be whatever you want. It could be like 98, which is hardly any fade, but this is a noticeable difference, 25% decrease. If I click fade, do, 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 fade two, as you can see, it's faded to 75% opacity. So these are the four fade methods, fade in, which fades all the way in. So it's full opacity if 
if it's not on full opacity that's where it does fade out it'll fade to zero opacity so it will be invisible fade toggle just toggle between these two depending on you know if it's fully visible they won't do anything uh, i mean i mean fully visible you go to not visible if it's not visible you go to fully visible and the fade to fade to a particular opacity remember the values range between zero and one so i'll put a common values range between zero and one for the opacity for the opacity okay and like i said if you want to know more about the speed parameter feel free to check out my video covering that i'm also going to have a separate video covering callbacks as well so you can you know basically call a piece of code a function when one of these fade effects is completed so feel free to take a look at that as usual if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and i look forward to seeing you in the next video